What's up, my comic comrades? Late last year, we gave you our list of the 10 most dangerous assassins in all of comics. Then at your request, we drilled down even further with an episode breaking down who we think are the 10 best assassins in DC Comics. So obviously, we're here to answer the final question, who are the 10 most dangerous assassins in Marvel? I can tell you up front, Marvel has some top tier assassins, so this is gonna be a fun episode. Let's get into it. Kicking off our list is Phantom X. I feel like not many people know of him, but to those who do, he's known for his exceptional fighting abilities and mastery of stealth. He was genetically engineered and trained by a secret organization known as Weapon Plus to be the ultimate weapon. He's highly skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and is an expert marksman, proficient in the use of a wide range of weapons like all types of firearms and blades. He also has superhuman physical abilities such as enhanced agility, strength, and speed, making him someone who's not easy to take down. Most notably, Phantom X has a cloaking ability that allows him to become invisible making him a master of stealth and deception. Because of this, it's nearly impossible to see him coming for you. Also kind of cool, he has the ability to control his nervous system, which allows him to resist interrogation and mind control techniques. He's highly intelligent and has a vast knowledge of various forms of technology, which comes in handy in combat and infiltration. To sum it up, Phantom X's combination of superhuman abilities, combat skills, stealth, intelligence, and his knowledge of technology makes him one of the most dangerous assassins Marvel has to offer. At number 9, we have Guardians of the Galaxy member Gamora. Getting to the point, she was raised and trained by Thanos to be the deadliest woman in the galaxy. She is an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, skilled in the use of various weapons, and is highly trained in stealth. Gamora has superhuman strength, agility, and endurance, making her incredibly deadly in battle. She is also a master of several alien languages and cultures, which allows her to blend in and move undetected in different environments. Gamora is also highly intelligent and strategic, being able to analyze and anticipate her opponent's moves allowing her to outsmart and outmaneuver them. As we know, Gamora would denounce her adoptive father Thanos and fight for good on the Guardians of the Galaxy. But even fighting for good, you don't want to come into confrontations with her as she's known as the deadliest woman in the galaxy for a reason. we have a character many of you might have been expecting. That's the Punisher. Frank Castle, he's an assassin who kills for his own personal reasons after the murder of his family. He hates criminals and thinks they should be put down permanently to guarantee they won't hurt anyone ever again. So unless you want to die, you better not be making the world an unsafe place on his turf. What I think makes the character really appealing is that he's a more gritty, non-rich Batman who's willing to kill to get the job done permanently. Frank Castle has an extensive background with basically every weapon imaginable. He's an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, as well as being in peak physical condition. He's also very strategic and an expert tactician. His missions are always well planned down to the very last detail. Dude is the peak of having a killer instinct mixed with the skills and determination. Now, currently Punisher has been given superpowers being leader of the hand, powered by the hand's beast, which let him go toe to toe with Ares, but I'm sure it's a matter of time before he goes back to having no superhuman abilities. And with no superhuman abilities, Castle has an incredibly high pain tolerance, able to undergo surgery without any anesthesia and take several gunshots and still keep fighting. What it all comes down to is that if you see the white skull and you're not a good Good guy, you better run. Definitely earning its spot on this list is the Taskmaster and not the abomination the MCU gave us. I'm talking the real Taskmaster from the comics. The Taskmaster we know from the comics is Tony Masters, an assassin who possesses what they call photographic reflexes. This means he can mimic anyone's fighting style just by watching them fight. He can't mimic people's powers, just their fighting style. But he can also mimic people's voices and their skills, making him a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat and a wide range of weapons. For instance, if he copied Hawkeye's fighting style, he would also be able to mimic his skill with a bone arrow, just not any actual superpower. All of this makes him one of the best fighters in Marvel, being so skilled that he's trained other villains and has been hired to train villains' henchmen. He's such a capable assassin, the only real reason he would lose to, let's say, Deadpool is because of the unpredictable way he fights due to his healing factor, making Taskmaster easily one of the most dangerous assassins in the assassin game. But let's talk about Marvel's genius billionaire playboy philanthropist Tony Stark Iron Man for a second, because today's sponsor, New Zealand Mint, has just released this dope Iron Man coin. If NZ Mint rings a bell, it's because because we've featured their amazing coins on Variant a couple times before. And you guys seem to dig them as much as we do, so we definitely wanted to show you their new Iron Man coin, as it might be our favorite collectible silver coin yet. This limited edition coin is made of one ounce of pure silver and has been uniquely shaped and colored to resemble the iconic red Iron Man armor and helmet. His chest reactor has been left engraved and frosted for detail, and some relief has been added for a 3D effect. And despite its shape, this is still a legal tender coin with the flip side displaying the public seal of Niwe. This officially licensed coin is also tucked in a great display 
display box themed with imagery of the hero. Then printed on the back is a certificate of authenticity and the coin's unique number in the limited mintage of 5,000. You can get yours by going to nzmint.com forward slash variant. And if you use our code variant5, you'll get an additional 5% off your order. Again, to add this to your collection, just click the link in the description and use code variant5 to get that 5% discount. Next in line is another character you knew had to be here, and that is Black Widow. Black Widow is mostly known for working with S.H.I.E.L.D. and being an Avenger. But before all that, she was someone you didn't want to deal with. She was trained by the KGB to be a spy assassin, turning her into a living weapon, and arguably the deadliest assassin to come out of the KGB. If you've seen the Black Widow movie, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, the Red Room, anyone? On top of being an expert fighter, having mastered several forms of martial arts, an expert with weaponry, and a master marksman, she was also given a different version of the Super Soldier Serum in the comics. That's right, she has a similar upgrade to that of Captain America, just not as strong. Mix that with her expert stealth skills, and she's like a true Black Widow. You will never see her coming, but when you do, it's too late, so you're as good as dead. At number five, we have the Winter Soldier. Bucky Barnes was brainwashed after his apparent death and trained by the Soviet Union as a weapon during the Cold War, at which point he was turned into a highly efficient killing machine with all the combat skills one could ask for, including marksmanship, expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and the use of advanced weapons. Dude also has physical enhancements, like his bionic arm that could do things like punch through walls and catch Captain America's shield. He is also highly adaptable and able to improvise in the field, which makes him an unpredictable and dangerous enemy. Winter Soldier is also a master of stealth and deception, able to infiltrate camps or strongholds and take out targets without ever being seen. Overall, the Winter Soldier's combination of physical enhancements, combat skills, adaptability, stealth, and discipline make him one of the best assassins Marvel has ever created. So much so, he is feared and respected by many in the Marvel Universe. Next up is Bullseye. This assassin for hire is capable of using almost anything as a lethal projectile with flawless accuracy. Then to top it off, he's a complete and utter psychopath, which is why he's one of Daredevil's most deadly enemies. Like I already mentioned, the crazy thing about Bullseye is that he can make anything a weapon, which makes him exceptionally dangerous. Dude can kill you with a paperclip or toothpick or whatever just by throwing it at you with extreme force at the perfect spot, and he never misses. Now add that to his Olympic physical conditioning, his hypercognitive brain, skilled pilot, Skilled acrobat and adamantium implants fused to parts of a skeleton, including his spine, with also being completely and utterly unhinged and psychotic, and he's easily one of the best assassins in the comics. Coming in at number three is everyone's favorite mutant, Wolverine. Wolverine is one of the most famous characters in all of comic books as a core member of the X-Men. But way before he joined the X-Men, this dude was quite literally an animal in human form. As all comic book fans know, Logan, the man who would become Wolverine, was taken by the Weapon X program and made into a mindless killing machine. His entire skeleton was laced with adamantium, and then he also has a healing factor, which makes him essentially unkillable. For a long time, Wolverine was just a murdering machine, but as we know, he somewhat changed his ways when he joined the X-Men. Don't get me wrong, he still loves a good slaughtering when the opportunity presents itself. For example, Wolverine was part of the modern version of X-Force, a black ops offshoot of the X-Men that uses lethal force to permanently get rid of threats against mutants. What I'm basically saying is Wolverine is almost unkillable, has an adamantium lace skeleton, an amazing healing factor, heightened senses like smell for tracking, as well as being a lethal brawler, all of which make him one of the best assassins Marvel has. I know he's not used as an assassin all the time, but when he is, good luck. Coming in at number two is one of the baddest females comics has to offer, and that is Elektra. She's known as the lethal Scarlet Assassin for a reason, and that's simply because she's known for being the greatest assassin in the world. She's been trained by a plethora of martial artists such as Stick since she was a child to protect herself from abuse. When she became an adult, she decided to become a professional assassin working for the Hand, who further trained her to become a master dealer of death with her signature size, all Raphael style. Her ability with almost any weapon, as well as her skill in hand-to-hand -hand combat, is unmatched by nearly anyone to the point where she can easily fight superpowered characters. That's how skilled she is. She's currently running around as the female Daredevil and teamed up with the OG Daredevil to take down the hand, being the queen to Daredevil's king as new leaders of the Fist. In the end, any true comic book fan will tell you Elektra is not someone you want to mess with, as her claim to fame is being one of the best martial artists and assassins in the world. 
At number one is none other than the taco eating Merc with the mouth himself, Deadpool. He's most people's favorite comic assassin for a reason. He was already a comic favorite that was made even more popular when Ryan Reynolds brought him to the big screen. The first thing that makes him so dangerous is the dude can't be killed. Literally, he's immortal. He has one of the best healing factors in all of comics to make it even more unfair. Dude has a love affair with death itself for crying out loud, like literally. His healing factor is so crazy, he could straight up just grow limbs back, which is an excellent trait for an assassin. Put it this way, when you think healing factor in comics, it's the first person that comes to mind for a lot of people, him and Wolverine. But what makes him such a great assassin is not being able to die, because even if he's spotted, he's still getting the job done, as he could be as reckless as he wants to be. So take that and then mix it in with his complete mastery of swords, knives, guns, explosives, martial arts, and everything deadly. All in all, he's one of the funniest and deadliest assassins the world of comic books has ever known. But there you have it, friends, our list of the 10 most dangerous assassins in all of Marvel. Maybe you agree with our list, maybe you don't. Let us know what 10 characters you would put on the list down in the comments. And that's going to bring today's episode to a close, but if you enjoyed this one, be sure to check out this one right here. And if you like all of our videos, like, subscribe, and comment. It helps us out. But other than that, I'll see you next time when I talk about all things comics.